kind of backlit, so I don't know how well you guys can actually see me. Okay, you guys can see me a little bit better if I sit here. We are, well, first of all, I'm officially a married woman. Two rings. Uh, we got married a few days ago. Uh, we had our wedding. Um, the last thing I vlogged was, I think, the day before the wedding, and then my camera went to my maid of honor's girlfriend, um, who was filming little bits and pieces um, on the day, but I don't know if I'm going to upload that or I'm just going to keep it for myself. Um, we came, we stayed at the hotel the day after the wedding and we drove all the way up here to Skye, which is where we are now, uh, yesterday. I woke up with a little bit of a sore throat yesterday but didn't think much of it. And I've woken up this morning feeling like absolute death. <laughs> I feel awful. It's not COVID, me and Paul both tested. We are aware, obviously, that sometimes it can be negative and then positive. So we're just staying away from people. You know, today we are spending the whole day outside in the fresh air, in the wilderness. Um, so I'm hoping that it's just what happens to most brides um, after their wedding. You know, just getting a little bit run down after all of the stress and excitement and tiredness. Like I haven't slept very well recently um so i think it's just that but today we're planning on going to the slajakan bridge and then the fairy pools talisker beach so that this one can run around um but we have a boat trip planned at 3 30 which is what i'm a little bit worried about because i get seasick at the best of times i have medication but because i'm already feeling a bit dodgy i don't know if it's a good idea for me to go on the boat trip and I really really want to because the last time we were here in Sky we were supposed to do a boat trip and it got cancelled because of bad weather. Um, the weather is actually pretty great um, right now so it should be fine um, but I think I'll just wait and see how I feel closer to the time and I've told Paul just to go without me uh, if I'm not feeling well because I don't want him to miss out. But I thought I would show you guys a little bit of this B&B that we're staying in. It's actually the same B&B that we stayed in last time, except they have a little annex on the side. And before we were in the B&B and now we're in the annex. Um, so I'll give you guys a little tour. So this is the front door. We've got the blind closed at the moment. Paul's currently in the shower. That's the bathroom in there. We have fill washer dryer here. We've just hung lots of stuff up here at the moment. And then you come in. Here, we've, got, we've put, dumped loads of stuff on here, obviously. It's a little bit of a mess, I'm not going to lie. Got this nice little couch, coffee table area. You've got a fully equipped kitchen with everything that you would need. Even has a little dishwasher in here, fridge, microwave. Um, these were all stocked with like pots and pans and cutlery. Working TV, little bean bag. And the best thing about this place is most definitely the view. It's stunning. Paul was spotting some seals um, from here last night, actually. Yeah, he has some seals. And this one really likes the view. He's been sitting here watching the world go by. As you can see, the weather's pretty good. You've got some blue sky going on. Forecast is also pretty good. This is the Isle of Rassi uh, across here. You can see the ferry that goes back and forth. The ferry dock is like right there. Um, but we are staying on sky. And uh, yesterday we went walking with whiskey around here and he's decided his new favorite game is chasing birds. Um, I was a little bit worried about him though because like, it's fine, he can run around here, like there's no cars, no nothing, like he's not gonna get into too much trouble, but the tide was out and there's so many rocks and he was running across all of the rocks and we couldn't get him back, like his recall, like he saw the birds and he was like, I'm gone. He did eventually come back. Um, and we put him straight on the leash though because his paws were literally bleeding. Um, it just has very, very tiny little scrapes. Um, it, it was, it looked much worse than it actually is. Um, but we're just going to keep him on grass today. And we're going to be very careful on where we're letting him off. Um, because I don't want him to hurt himself again. So, continuing with the little apartment tour. You go up these stairs. Into the attic bedroom. And I love the, uh, the old beams that are still up. And this is the bedroom. You have um, a nice view at the window here. And then also you have the same view as downstairs out of uh, these windows as well. I also really like these little nooks because you can hide 
your suitcases and stuff away. And you can hang some clothes up so you don't see them. It's very well done. Little chest of drawers. I still have my bouquet <laughs> from my wedding because I put the flowers from the centerpiece on my grand's grave and I didn't really know what to do with my flowers so I've just decided to keep them. We're doing a photo shoot here on Sky. Yeah, can you smell my flowers? Can you smell mommy's wedding flowers? Yeah. We're doing a photo shoot here the day after tomorrow so hopefully they last until then and I might be able to use them. Just quickly show you guys the little shower area now that Paul's out. It's very aesthetically pleasing, I think. It's all brand new, like they only opened it, um, I think, a couple of months ago as well. It's all very well done. So, Fiona and Richard, who own this B&B, are absolute B&B experts. Look at what I just found in the drawers. Yeah. Yeah, like they also left us little Tupperwares um, so that we can make up lunches. Like they just, they know the little extras that people want. Yeah. I was uh, looking on Google Maps actually. And you could see, like, when we zoomed in on, like, oh, we have to go to Scones or something, eh? because that's where this is. And I was zooming in, and I was like, yeah, best rated, uh, best rated Airbnb or something, it said, out of the mm. area. Yeah, no, they are very good. And they're very nice people. Yeah. So our first stop, literally five minutes away from Airbnb, is the Slagakin, Slagakin Old Bridge, which is this. I really would like a photo of it, though I think I need, we need to take it from where that lady is so that you can see the mountains behind it properly, I think. There's also a memorial over there. What do you want to do first? You want to go see the memorial? There's a memorial? Oh yeah, there's. Yeah, over there. Adventure pup. We've made it to the fairy pools. This car park is a little bit more expensive, I think, because it's literally the most popular attraction um, on Sky, potentially. That's the fairy pools right behind me. You can see the path as they go up. It's basically just a path full of waterfalls and little pools. Um, a lot of the photos online are very heavily edited, so it's not gonna look like as magical as it might do on those photos, but I'm sure it's still pretty magical. Um, yeah, to park here is six pounds, and the majority of the other car parks, it's only three. Um, but there's no time limit, so. I mean, there's quite a lot of people walking, but for the fairy pools, it's actually not that busy, I don't think. I mean, we are still technically in somewhat of an off season. It's early June in the UK, isn't on holiday yet, so. I'm not a fast hiker at the best of times, uh, but I think today is going to be slower than usual. I'm sorry, I have no energy for this vlog. Doing my best because I've looked forward to this trip for like six months. What books? No, I just said I've been looking forward to this trip for like six months, so I'm powering through. He's cute. Oh, he sees other dogs. He's decided. He doesn't want to walk. I'm surprised that there aren't more accidents here. I'm surprised there aren't more accidents here. Like of people falling off of the rocks and like hitting their heads or something. No? Oh, I'm sure, like people are getting into some uh, questionable positions, I'm not gonna lie.
Alaska Bay Beach and we've literally dreamed of bringing whiskey here I think since we got him but unfortunately now they've got sheep down here and the last time we were here I mean the water looks lovely but the last time we were here until about here it was all fine black sand and obviously now the tide is in so it's all rocks and stuff which isn't really great for him to run around on which is just really really unfortunate So I decided to uh, come on the boat trip after all. Um, I don't know if it was a good idea. I'm already not feeling very well. I'm not even on the boat yet. Um, we'll see. It's very pretty here though. We're in Elgol. This is not our boat, but it's of a similar size. At least the sea is very calm today. That's one thing. So yeah, we'll see. Whiskey. <gasps> Whiskey. Where are we going? Whiskey's first little boat trip. going to give us a demo. Good enough. You're enjoying your little boat trip? Yes. Okay, Mama, you feeling better? Great. Not the worst, not the bad, Sven. Okay. I'll come back to you guys when I've seen some special wildlife. I've seen some seagulls, but uh, yeah, that's not what we're here for. Eh? gonna see something. You usually get lucky. And you have to see it as well, like you have to spot it. I mean it. you will see seals, so you'll be happy.
This is the kind of stuff that I loved when I did the onboard research with HWDT is like getting to places that are only accessible by boat. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh my goodness. Hang on. <laughs> getting to places that are only accessible by boat and aren't really lived on feels like a different world. It's so quiet and calm and serene, aside from my sneezing, obviously. Actually feeling marginally better. I think the sea air is helping, although it's been going kind of up and down. I'm just very congested, so, you know, I could get back in the car and it could all go to shit again, but we'll see. But it's actually really nice. We just took a little walk over there. I actually shot some of, uh, I have a brand campaign on Instagram and TikTok. Not here, I'm not required to mention them here, so I don't need to put ad. With uh, a brand called Happy Soaps. So if you feel like supporting me in, uh, now that I'm working for myself constantly now, it would be nice to get a little bit of engagement on those posts. So head on over to Instagram at Dreaming with Hazel, TikTok at Hazel McBride Author, and like them. I'm really happy with the shots that we got, actually. I mean, how could I not be happy with the shots that I got? Uh, when this is the background. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Well, I'm really glad I went. My face is an absolute state. Like, all of my mascaras run, everything's come off of my nose because I've been blowing it so much. Who cares? We had re we had a really good time actually. I'm really, really happy I came and did it. I was worried it would be a bit more choppy. It wasn't. I didn't feel sick at all. And uh, how can you beat this weather? I mean, this is perfect. It's actually also really warm. It's like 19 degrees or something. So a little bit windy out in the water so we're wearing our jackets. but. Maybe we'll go out, we're going to go to the co-op now and get something for dinner. Maybe we can sit outside the B&B later if the weather's nice on that side of the island too and just chill. <laughs> <laughs>